Bill Maher is blown away with how radical Nancy Pelosi is, and I'm blown away with how radical both Bill Maher and Pelosi are. I'm John Mike Kane. The California lawmakers just passed a law. It hasn't been signed by Governor Newsom, giving um, government assistance to undocumented immigrants to buy houses. You're not a citizen, but we're going to give you a house. Assistance. Mm-hmm. That's kind of a, a different place than uh, the Democratic Party used to be on immigration, is it not? I'm not going to say that's what the country's going to do, but that's certainly where California is. Well, uh, let me just say, immigration had always been a bipartisan issue. This is so fake. Immigration's always been a bipartisan issue. Of course it has you dingling. Everyone's for legal immigration. That's not even what the argument's about. So don't even bring it up. It's about illegal immigration. It's about expanding illegal immigration, giving people more rights when they're illegal. Picture me going into France without a passport. Can I get more rights? Can I demand to walk over uh, around TSA scanners and them? Can I uh, not have a passport with me and then demand a job and say I have a right to a house and a job in France if I'm not a citizen? I refer you to but the not free houses. Well, that's not free housing. It's it's the American dream being available to more people. But no, oh, that's one way of putting it. It's not free housing. It's the American dream being available to more people through free housing, Nancy Pelosi. This is an argument where they change nothing by just reordering the words and changing a little vocabulary. It doesn't change the meaning of anything. That's exactly what they're asking for. Free housing for non-citizens illegally here That's what they voted on. Understand this about immigration. The best speech on immigration was by President Ronald Reagan. This is the last speech I will make as president of the United States. I want to communicate a message to to the country I love. And he talked about the Statue of Liberty and the uh, beacon of hope it is to the world. I believe in strict kick the illegals out. And I still believe that we're the beacon of hope to the world. I still believe in strong legal immigrant policies. She's taking Ronald Reagan's speech out of context and everyone does. It's what do you do with the illegals that are already here? Reagan said, we're going to give them, grant them a one time amnesty, then lock up the border is what he said. It wasn't a new policy and a new look at keeping the border open. And what America was preeminent in the world because our door was always open and we will cease to be preeminent when we shut the door. The door will always remain legally open to legal immigration. The door needs to remain shut forever to illegal immigration, always. Same way it needs to be shut forever for the illegal trafficking trade, illegal drug trade, illegal gun running. Now, that's, I don't do justice to the great communicator. Don't patronize Ronald Reagan. You have nothing to do with him. And yeah, you don't do justice to him right now because you're lying. Google it. It's a fabulous speech. And George Herbert Walker Bush continued in that respect for the diversity of America and the rest. Oh yeah, Democrats were big fans of Ronald Reagan and George Herbert Walker Bush. You lying. Hey, the 80s want their fuchsia shoulder padded suit back, Nancy. Uh, California's always in the lead. Maybe others will follow that lead, but that's up to those states. But we are very blessed here with beautiful diversity. Do you you'd vote for this law? Excuse me? So you'd vote for this law? Well, I don't, I, I'm not familiar with oh. exactly what that is, but. She's lying that she's not familiar familiar with it. Every one of them are familiar with it. They know exactly what they're doing. I'm not, fam- uh, I can't comment on if I'd vote on Of course she'd vote on it. Look at her record, Bill. This is your party, Bill. Making the uh, American dream of home ownership available to all people is something we have to do for people Before who are here now. Uh, to all people? How about to white supremacists in Ireland? How about how about home ownership to soldiers in Russia? Are you for that? Members of Iran? I mean, home ownership for North Koreans? These people are nuts. This is before, before you were a citizen. Hmm? This is undocumented. Hmm? This is for the undocumented. Well, what I would like to do is move them to documented. I like how Bill Maher keeps reminding her of what the debate is. This No, this isn't just for home ownership for anyone. This is about undocumented. Oh, oh, well... 
I, I'd like to make the undocumented documented. And there you have it, folks. They're, first, they let in 11 to 20 million illegal people. Then they go, we just want to make them legal so we can get them houses. And really, they want to get them the vote. They said that we can them to document. Yeah, California, give her a big applause. And uh, this is why I'm going to be laughing as the whole world just melts into a hole because this is what they wanted. One of the best things that we can do for our economy is to pass comprehensive immigration reform. Oh, now it's for the rich. This is the one of the richest people in the country telling you for our economy. In other words, for the rich is to pass, make these illegals, what they call reformed. I'm John Mike Keen.